Hello. Today we're going to be working on our systems of equations foldable. So if you would find this foldable from last week, if you remember last week we started with <coughs> actually the center section here. So um, if you were absent or don't have another copy, I did put some copies in the back of the room in the algebra folder. You should be able to find them on Friday. We are going to look at graphing today. So if you would go ahead uh, and open your foldable to graphing, and I would like you to copy down these two equations. This is our example. Uh, the first equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Second equation, y equals negative 2x minus 6. Okay, so if you have to pause the video to copy that down, go ahead and do that. Uh, let me refresh your memory again on what a system is. A system is a set of two or more equations with two or more variables, which is exactly what we have here. Our goal is to figure out a single ordered pair. So I'm going to actually at the top here, maybe write an open set of an ordered pair, because that's our goal. Okay. So we need to find out there is one value of x and one value of y that when you substitute it back into this x and y will make these equations true. So the steps over here we're going to do, and, and you know how to do all these pieces, we're going to bring it together in one problem. Number one, solve, y, solve equations for y. Well, both of them are already solved for y. They're in slope-intercept form. Step two, graph using slope and y-intercept. So you're thinking about, and I'm going to write over here, y equals mx plus b. Hopefully that shows up. Let me switch here to another. y equals mx plus b. That's a little bit better. So you are trying to graph the equations. And then step three, note the intersection of the two graphs. These two, these two lines should intersect if there is a single solution. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, equation number one, remember the m is next to the x, the b is your y-intercept. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So remember, you always begin with the b, so I'm going to start at positive 2 on the y-axis. Okay, and then my slope, I'm doing rise over run, up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. And so put your pen, pencil back on the y-intercept, and I'm going to go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. Now, it's going to be extremely important when we do these. You can tell your line is going to go um, kind of backwards to the left. So I'm going to reverse my slope. Instead of going up and to the right 3, I'm going to reverse both. So I'm going to go back to my y-intercept and go down 2 over 3, down 2 over 3. And now you have a good sense of where your line is. So you can connect it, or if you want to grab a ruler, you can. Okay, there is my first line. Second one, uh, the m is negative 2 and the b is negative 6. So begin with the b. So I'm going to go down here to negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, my slope is negative 2, negative 2 over 1. So when I start to count down 2, I am going to run off my graph a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to count down 1, 2, and then over 1. But you can tell your line is going to angle this direction. So I'm going to reverse count my slope again. So instead of going down and to the right, I'm going to go up 2 and to the left 1. And keep going until you run into your line. Up 2 to the left up to and right there is my intersection. I might go ahead and count one more time. I need to go ahead and connect my line. Okay, so my intersection point is this right here. So the solution is going to be that ordered pair. So this dot is sitting at negative one, two, three, zero. So negative three, zero is my solution. It is the only point that's going to work for these two equations. All right. So if you would go ahead and um, move on to your other set of notes and, we, and watch the next video, and we'll go through several examples for that.